All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight title fight between Bruce Lee and John Dodson. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to my YouTube channel. As hard a title shot to come by as there is in any UFC division is at 155 pounds. Here he is, the consensus number one lightweight title challenger, the number one contender, at least in terms of the rankings, getting set for a title fight here tonight. A lot of people think he is a live underdog in this championship setting. I guess we'll find out here, Joe Rogan. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunter? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. If you just first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 10 losses. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John the Magician Dotson. And now introducing the champion, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down to right now. Ready. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. He got tagged there. Nice jab by Lee. 
Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Huge uppercut misses. That's Beautiful. a hard hook. See if he can make some adjustments. Look at that, he's timing that jab. How about that shin? Finds his range with the jab. Back and forth we go! Beautiful right hand by the champion. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. It's a, ni a nice right hand. Again. Whoa! Oh, nice right hand. Shot is blocked there by Lee. He tagged him with that right hand. Inside leg kick. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Dodson. Well, he's doing a nice job keeping the guard up, but that usually means the body is wide open, and his opponent wisely saw that and landed the straight hand to the body. Let's see if he shores some things up here defensively to prevent that fate moving forward. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Oh, he's getting busted up. Tries the Superman oh, punch, oh. falls short. Round two next. Take a seat. Deep breath in. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. All right, man. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better with your hands, okay? Here we see a perfectly timed kick. Connects flush. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. Here we see an excellent kick connects flush with perfect timing. Big round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Here we are, early round two. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's gonna win, but what's his opponent gonna be able to do to him. Effective strike there by Lee. Just missed with the left there. Dodson gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. He caught the kick. He lets go of his leg. Misses. Nice inside leg kick. That one hurt. Nice leg kick. Very nice. really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, effective use of the jab by Dodson. The kick gets through.
Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Oh. And he lands the roundhouse. Well, again, Joe, he leaves the head wide open and eats the hook shot there. I know he's got a good chin, but you got to think he'd be wise at this point in time to get back to his defensive principles. Move that head, get on the tip of his toes, move those feet. 45 seconds remain in the round. He just got crippled left. Back and forth we go here. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh. Oh. Nice leg kick. Well, some have got... Whoa! And that's the end of round what? number two. Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. And here we see that again. Breathe, 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 breathe. Relax, you okay? All right, get some water. Let's recompose here. Jenny Andrade to get us going. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Switching stances here. How about that shin? Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Tagged him with a Superman punch. Oh, and he lands another punch there, Joe. You can tell he's targeting the cut on his opponent's eye. Certainly not a bad strategy. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Dodson gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Hand speed, man. Just misses with that one. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Push kick there to the body. Both men landing in that exchange. Effective use of the jab there by Dodson. Under two minutes to go in round three. Dodson gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Dodson. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that sidekick. Head kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Huge punches landed by both men. Oh, we got tagged with the hook. Ten seconds now to go in the round. 
That's three rounds. Uh, uh. We're now headed to the championship rounds. And here's a nice shot lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very impressive striking going on in that round. I need more of that. I want you to go out of the Good to have Brazil's Jenny Andrade in the building here. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so the championship medal of these two fighters figures to be tested beginning right now. Fourth round is underway. That means we have arrived. At Whoa! The champ is in big trouble. He's in deep danger right now. Who saw this coming? He's got him hurt here. Dodson's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Pretty strong leg kick there, Joe, by Lee. Oh! Man, has his chin been tested early. seen that shot coming so just the way he drew it up exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win so what a knockout from the ufc lightweight champion here tonight under the bright lights he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the ufc lightweight champion Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, one second of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So there he is all smiles the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world and what a way to get it done here tonight as he gets it done with the knockout you talk about maximizing a showcase I'm just not sure he could have done it any better smart approach to the fight and the window of opportunity opened he closed the show congratulations to the team as they celebrate the title defense here tonight